talk about section 2.3, uh, which is about Euclidean motions of the plane. Um, and notice that I'll be using this notation from time to time. Uh, the real numbers squared is one way of denoting the plane. If you've taken linear algebra, you've probably seen this notation a million times before. <clears throat> but just to recap what happened in this section, uh, we talked about mappings. Uh, and mappings were just functions. Uh, they took points from the plane and mapped it, mapped them to other points, or they took points from some set A and mapped them to some set B. Now, uh, regarding mappings from the plane to itself, uh, we had, um, in the universe of all such mappings, we had these mappings that were, that are onto which means that uh, every element in the codomain is the image of something from the domain. And we have the set of all one-to-one -one mappings. Uh, these are the set of mappings where um, if two inputs produce the same output, that means that they were, in fact, the same input. And, of course, we defined transformations to be mappings that are both one-to-one -one and onto. And we uh, very briefly in that reading assignment touched on the notion of what a motion was. And motions uh, are these here. They are transformations that preserve distance. Okay, and we talked about the four types of Euclidean motions. There was translation, which uh, essentially took uh, each point and moved it a fixed distance and direction. Okay, so if we were to apply a translation to this happy face over here, uh, we end up with the happy face in exactly the same orientation. It's just moved. So uh, we translated it by this vector here. Uh, a rotation around a point, we picked a point, and then we basically just moved everything, a fixed angle, around that point. And so let's see if I can draw this upside down. Okay. So you can see that this uh, this smiley face is not in the same uh, in the exact same orientation was be it was before. Uh, it is upside down, um, but simply because it had moved around this point, um, and really the center of the rotation is there. But hey, I'm I'm drawing this by hand. Yeah, I'm sure you guys will give me a pass on this one. And the reflections. Uh, we basically just define some sort of mirror, and we reflect each point across that mirror. Okay, so this, you'll actually notice that the uh, happy face's nose is pointing in the opposite direction. Uh, it's the only, the only part of that face that's not symmetric, and frankly, the reason why... Um, the happy face had to have a nose. And then we have a glide reflection, which is um, similar to a reflection, only there is a further um, translation uh, that is parallel to the mirror. Okay, so you reflect it over a mirror, and then you move it in the same direction as the mirror. So these are four types of motion. Uh, our, next, um, our next step is to talk about equations that describe these motions, and that's really going to be the, the major theme for the rest of uh, our, our experience in this chapter.